the key goal. The Panthers received the first half and had good field position after a good return from Michael Marinelli. They seemed to have a promising start, but the tempo started to slow down. Alfonso Lombardi threw a critical interception on third down. Up the middle, Jimmy Elliott again, trying to get the edge. Elliott, inside the 10 yard line, will be first down and goal. Fourth down and goal. The give to Dunn, and he is in for the touchdown. And there we go. I feel like we're going to be saying his name a lot tonight, Ryan. Nico Dunn. The turnover allowed Mountain Lakes to sneak in an early touchdown over the Panthers. Lombardi. Looking over the middle. Has time. Looking to back. Pocket is intercepted again. Cage Shuffman again. Nick Iannacone caught a critical interception on fourth down that prevented another potential score from the Lakers. Marinelli recorded an interception as well. But the Panthers' offense still struggled to put points on the board throughout the entire first half. Lost to Elliott. Elliott gets out of trouble. Look at this one by Jimmy Elliott! Jimmy Elliott is loose! Jimmy Elliott's gonna score! We do have oh. a flag and it's out at the 40-yard line. Oh. And it's a hold! It is a hold and it's coming back! The Panthers' offense came short of tying the game. Scrambling all over the place. There's five seconds to go in the half. He's looking to the end zone. Oh, what a defensive play in the end zone! Jimmy Elliott got a hand on the pass intended for Babcock. And zeros are on the clock. The half is over. During halftime, the Cedar Grove Panthers decided to keep the ball on the ground rather than the usual passing frequency. The run game seemed to have had better momentum. Christ, looking to throw, going that way towards McLaughlin again in the end zone, and the two defenders for Cedar Grove converge on him, turnover on downs for Mountain Lake, Cedar Grove takes over. The Panthers' defense arguably had a much more critical role than their offense in the state final. And Cedar Grove bringing down Jimmy Elliott, dragging at his jer grabbing at his jersey. It's a tough one from the left hash. His first field goal attempt of the year is no good. No good. Wide to the left. Cedar Grove the missed Panthers field goal was again, a key Ryan. turning point for the Panthers. As the passes kept stalling, they stuck to their powerful ground game. This is the Cedar Grove that we were ready to see tonight. Yeah, it looks like they're, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it right now. Yeah. Coletta on that jet sweep. Has a block for Marinelli. Tried to cut it up, but a great open field tackle on the far side. It is a first down in either way. In the first play of the fourth quarter, the Panthers' prayer was answered. Coach Gogarty made the big gamble for two points, and they were successful. The Panthers trailed for three quarters, and now they led by one point.
The Panthers' defense kept the Lakers' offense out of the end zone for the rest of the game. Mountain Lakes only needed eight points to tie the game. Having the football on good field position, the Panthers were looking to increase their lead and cement their victory for the state title. All that Cedar Grove had to do was carefully run the clock out, and they were state champions. But in the end, it was the Panthers' defense that made the final statement on the closing game. After a drought of 10 years, the Cedar Grove Panthers finally got back what they desired most. State Champions.